All right, guys, let's put it all together. We have the outer shape, we have the line down the middle and across the center here. The middle here is going to show us the center of our face because our face is symmetrical. And the line across here is to show us where the eyes are going to sit. So the eyes are going to be where we measure everything else from. So we're gonna start with the ear. I do like kind of little ears off the side like this. Mine usually are kind of big because I have big ears, little pixie ears. So from the eye line down to the nose line, you would draw that ear shape on either side. I kind of lose this one off the edge. Then from the eye line to the chin, you're gonna find the center point, draw that line, that's gonna be the nose. And guys, stop the video. If I'm going too fast, stop it, draw, start again, okay? I'm trying to make the video short. Then from the nose line, to the chin, you're gonna find the center again, draw that line for the mouth. Once you have your lines on here, we're gonna come up here, draw some ovals, just some light sketched ovals where your eye's going to be. Make sure that your eye is an eye length apart. So this space here should be the same as this space here, here. Then the pupil of your eye, if you bring that straight down on either side, that's how wide your mouth is. And in between your eye here, bring that line down, that's how wide your nose is. So your nose would fit in here, your mouth would fit here, where we have that little thing. Do your mouth here, nose, eyes. Hair, everybody's hair is different, all right? Um, so your hair, oh, let's not forget the neck. So your neck here, here, um, make sure that your neck is wide enough to hold your head up, okay? You don't have a little teeny little pencil neck. You don't have a neck that just comes right off of your chin. You have a nice sturdy neck to hold up your head. It comes off of your jaw, okay? So you can bring that down, curve it around with your shoulders, and then put your shirt on by just drawing a line that kind of loops around, all right? back up to the hair. So your hairline is about here. So if you have short hair, you know, you're almost done, okay? So there's your hairline. You can um, do, I actually have some examples. If you have curly hair, you can make it kind of like little teeny curls. If you have bigger curls, you would make those curls bigger. If it's darker, you just go back over it, make it darker. And if you have um, some like leftover paper, you can like wind it up, tape it, and use that as your blending stump and kind of blend those in. And you can see that you can bring that out pretty far like that. If you have like long wavy hair, maybe your part would start up here and it would come down and around, maybe in front of your ear here and then down like the front part would come in front of your shoulder. So like your shoulder would be maybe here. So the front part would go in front, the back part of your hair would go behind your shoulder. And maybe this part goes behind your ear. I got the ear here. Okay, raise that part. See how it goes behind the ear there. And then maybe you have braid. This could go all behind your ear here. And this might be behind your ear here, pulled over to the side. Again, I have some um, facial features, quick sketch of a facial feature here. Again, the eyes are an eye length apart. The nose is in between the eyes. The mouth drops down from the pupil. All right, guys, I'm kind of sliding this clip in because I forgot to tell you about the eyebrows. So if you follow your nose, like right now, if you run your finger around the outside of your nose, around your eye and into your eyebrow, you'll see that it just kind of curves right around your eye, runs right into your eyebrow. So I like to kind of just draw the shape out lightly. I have it darker on here so you can see. Lightly draw the shape out and then go in there and add your eyebrow. 
Now your eyebrow obviously is made up of little hairs. So you just draw those in there and you can add a little bit of the blending stump in there, smooth it out. And then so she, this is really dark. She kind of looks like Frida, doesn't she? All right, and then the other one would be straight across. It's gonna be right here. So draw the other one on there. And guys, believe me, it's not gonna be even. It's very difficult. Oop, see, told you. All right, so the same thing. Add the, <laughs> add the hair. Blend. There you go, eyebrows. Examples of hair. Again, straight hair. Maybe the front part comes in front of the ear. The back goes behind the ear. The front would come in front of the shoulder. If you have short, short hair and it's straight, make sure, please, that you're doing straight teeny lines. Don't do long lines shading it in like this because it's gonna make look like you have long straggly hair. When you have short, hair, short hair like that. And don't, you can just do here and there, little pieces here and there, and then use your blending stump to blend it in. If you wanna show your hair up, you can put it in a bun or a ponytail, just bring those lines back. Okay, kind of, you can make them kind of puffy so it kind of looks like a messy bun. You can have some pieces coming out. Here's, all right, curly hair. Again, like the wavy, but much curlier. You can kind of make it as curly as you want. Color some of it in so that it's darker. If your hair is darker, use this blending stump again to make it even darker and softer looking. Okay. All right. And make it your own. I love you guys. I miss you and happy drawing.